so is it really worth it to vlog your through hike of the Appalachian Trail? Let's find out. So as you all know, I filmed my entire preparation leading up to my Appalachian Trail through hike attempt. I shared my gear, my training, trying new trail foods, money saving tips, and so much more. But I also vlogged every single day while I was out on the trail and posted consistently every single day day so today i wanted to share my thoughts on vlogging on the trail is it worth it is it not worth it Vlogging is such a, <laughs> it's a tricky subject on trail, honestly, and it was something that I think a lot of people either shied away from, had very strong opinions against, or were very much into. Like, you were in one of the three categories, like, you kind of kept it a secret that you were vlogging, you were full-on vlogging, and didn't care what people thought, or, like, you were totally against it. And I guess there were the few people that were okay with other people vlogging, didn't really care either way. So I guess four categories. <laughs> I know for myself, it was definitely worth taking the time to make those videos. And I am so thankful that I do have those videos to go back on. They are great memories. So fun to go back and watch and just like have those, you know, for the rest of my life. It was great for my friends and family and my co-workers to be able to see kind of what I was doing and just gave everyone a little bit of insight on what life was like out there. So I definitely thought it was worth it um, in the moment and looking back on it. But I will say there are some cons to it, right? It does take a lot of time away from trail. Um, it does take a lot of time just generally when you're hiking to you know you have to pause to get these clips or if you want to get walking clips or whatever and I know some people don't re didn't really like go out of their way to get those extra clips like I did some people just vlog themselves talking and that's perfectly fine but for myself I, I wanted to capture those um, scenes around me and the sounds and the memories and you know just so I can kind of get a full view and for, so you guys and my friends and family could get a full view of what was going on in that day, what the weather was like, what views I was seeing, what animals I was seeing, what plant life I was seeing. So I took the time to, to take those extra clips. So I will say, if you're considering vlogging your through hike, keep that in mind, decide. Um, I guess you don't really have to decide. You can always change your mind on what you wanna do. But just think about the fact that if you do want to get the more like cinematic shots and the views and all that, it is going to take extra time. You are going to be one of the last people at camp unless you're like super fast, but you know, taking the time to video takes time away from hiking. So keep that in mind, find your style. And like I said, it can always change once you get out on trail. It doesn't have to stay a certain way. One thing to also consider is um, if you're considering vlogging, what kind of vlogs you want to do and are you planning on posting while you're on trail i feel like most people post when they're on trail rarely do i see people go back and like edit videos after they were on trail um, and post them i've seen a few people do that which i think is a good idea but uh, most people I feel like want to share real time so their friends and family can see what they're doing. So with that, you kind of want to consider, do I want to daily vlog? Do I want to do a couple days at a time? Do I want to do a week at a time? Do I want to do a state at a time? Do I want to do a month at a time? Whatever it is, how do you want your videos to come out? How frequently are you going to post them? Personally, as you guys know, I did daily vlogs. With that, there's some pros and cons, right? Pros, it's a little bit easier as far as filming goes because you just kind of share whatever's going on that day. Um, they're a little bit shorter usually in length than like a, say a weekly vlog would be. A little bit less of a storyline that you have to follow through on. It's just whatever happens that day, right? But with daily vlogs, you also have to consider there are some cons as far as you are editing a video every single day every single day 
and you are also have to consider the fact that if you're not editing every single day when you're in your tent you're gonna have to edit when you get into town which I did a little I did a mix of both of those when I was out on trails um, the first couple sections I edited while I was in my tent because um, we were doing less mileage so we would get to camp a little bit earlier I had time to edit and I wasn't so tired you know um, but as we went on in trail, I wanted to spend more time with everyone at camp. I was making more friends. Um, we were hiking bigger miles, so it just generally, I don't know, splashes in the water in Florida. A little scary. I'm kind of sitting on a dock thing right now, so I'm a little, a little concerned. But anyways, um, you know, as the trail went on, I, I kind of spent more time when I was out on the trail actually spending time with the people around me um, hiking longer hours because we were doing more miles so less time in camp to be able to actually edit so I would edit once we had a zero day in town and that was you know it gave me something to do on the zero day so I'm not just sitting there twiddling my thumbs right because a lot of times when we were in town we were just, you know, kind of like laying in our beds and not really like walking around or doing anything because the whole point of the zero day is to rest. So it gave me something to do while I was like sitting in town. But, you know, <sighs> mentally it takes energy to do that. So I wasn't re necessarily like sleeping and napping and whatever. Like I was spending time on my phone editing all day. I remember this one time we were about to go into the Smokies and I was trying to edit up all my videos from the last like section and I was editing like all day <laughs> all day and I remember my hiking partner was like yeah I just watched you edit all day like that just sounds miserable like I don't I don't want to do that so that's something you want to consider if you are planning on doing daily vlogs that it it might take up your zero day you might have to spend an extra day in town or you might just spend your whole zero day editing or are you okay with editing in your tent each night staying up a little bit later to edit or getting up a little bit earlier to edit what are you okay with so yeah I mean there's pros and cons to it all but I will say like another pro that I feel like I'm not not a lot of youtubers talk about is that you do generally make money from the videos which helps in the grand scheme of paying for a through hike so I was thinking about making a video in the near future about like how much money my like daily videos made I don't know if that's something y'all would be interested in um I kind of feel like it's like a touchy subject but I feel like it would be interesting to share so um Again, I, I didn't do a full through hike, so it wouldn't be like a full, like how much money I made on a full through hike, but from when I was out there daily vlogging. So leave in the comments down below if you guys would be interested in that. Um, I'm gonna go finish the rest of my hike and I will catch you all next week somewhere else on trail. Bye.